Hey guys, it is uh, me, Kenny Kane, and I, this weekend, had the pleasure of having Sean Mansell, the author of By the Numbers, at our seminar that Chip and I taught. Now, some of you might know of Sean's work because we've been using tons of it in class. Basically, it's a pedagogy of movements. So if you ever have a question about where you are or how you should scale, this gigantic sheet is something that you're going to be seeing around the gym. Sean was the person, the architect of the sheet. He wrote a great book for coaches across the world to sort of use as a resource. And Sean, why don't you fill us in on what this is and what the whole idea is of this. Okay, um, By the Numbers is a system for instructing the movements that are commonly programmed in um, what might be termed multimodal general physical preparedness training. The right? stuff we do. Yeah, the stuff you guys do. And it's, uh, it basically it builds exercises pose by pose. It builds ex uh, movement skill exercise by exercise. And it tests movement skill with incremental increases in load, volume, and intensity. So what you guys have here are the by the numbers movement hierarchies. And basically what I've done is I've tried to organize uh, the movements that you might commonly see in CFLA workouts. like pistols, box jumps, cleans, L pull-ups, whatever you might have, right? And then sort of broke them down into other exercises that you could learn in order to gain the necessary strength and mastery in order to be able to execute that movement. So for instance, if we look at, uh, let's say, oh, here's the kipping toes to bar, right? Well, to be able to do kipping toes to bar, you should really be able to do a, a certain number of strict toes to bar, at least according to BTN, right? But in order to be able to do strict, to, uh, strict toes to bar, you should be able to do hanging leg raises. And to do hanging leg raises, it's pretty helpful if you can do a supine leg raise. So each of these movements kind of preserves the same stimulus. It's all about hip flexion with straight legs. It's just that starting with the simplest variation, which is the supine leg raise, you make each one a little bit more complex by adding another layer of challenge, right? Now, from there you go to hanging, from there you have to bring your toes all the way to the bar, and then you can work your way up to the kipping variation. So It's really straightforward, very organized, and one more uh, tool to help us do exactly what we're trying to do, and that is practice longevity. All this is intended to teach you sequentially how to do things. Again, if you ever have any questions, we often write by the whiteboard what the uh, progressions will be of any given movement. Well, here's a very complete and robust list of all the movements that we're basically going to see in this world that we live in, So, uh, as far as our classes go. So uh, you're going to be seeing this uh, laminated and downstairs in the coming week. And it's a great tool when you're in class and you have questions about where you should modify on any given day. Thanks, you guys. Love you. Talk to you soon.